Snest Drunk. Welcome back to Snest Drunk Plays Mega Man X2 here on my Mega Motorcycle Hover Hover Cycle, I guess it's technically called. Blowing shit up, jumping over this thing. Yeah, you have to dash jump on that to jump over and dash jump on this, but I'm not gonna make it. Technically, you're sub what you gotta do is. Uh, what am I doing? Here we go. I press the wrong button. Um, take the bicycle all the way through here. Bicycle. It's a freaking motorcycle. Um, God damn it. Jump that chasm there and somehow dash jump onto that platform there. It's, it's actually really tricky to do. You have to hit like four jumps perfectly in order to get that heart container right up there. And I'm not gonna bother doing it, but what I am gonna do is going over, go over here and uh, get out the old buzz saw and get my newest uh, present from Santa Claus. Whoops, skip that kind of fast. Main drive unit. Now, what would that pertain to? Oh, this is the dash, uh, midair dash. My favorite ability in this game. I love being able to do this. And I like how if you have a weapon selected, it'll automatically switch him back to to uh, his original colors. Look at those styling disco boots he's got on now. Pretty sweet. I love that. I just love being able to do that. Especially with the R button instead of the stupid A button. So nice. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. It just makes the game so much more fun. Anyway, we are already at uh, Overdrive Ostrich. This is not a very long level. What? Uh, yeah. can use this. Oh, you know what? It, that's right. It, it automatically switches it off because it shows Mega Man destroying this giant <laughs> missile, which is only the most dangerous thing you could possibly do. What is he, Dr. S Dr. Strangelove? Or Dr. Strangelove didn't, like, ride the bomb in the movie? This, that other guy did. Anyway, usually um, I uh, start the game with this level so I can get the... Uh, leg dash uh, pretty quickly so I can uh, go with this level and then go to wire sponge and then wheel gator and then come back here and get the leg upgrade. But I uh, decided not to do that for whatever reason this time. I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. I wanted to do the traditional uh, sequence with wire sponge starting first and this guy is actually last. Whatever. Who cares? Anyway, yeah. Once, once, if you get this guy, got this guy's weakness, he just goes into the constant loop of the same attack over and over. Um, if you, if you avoid him, or if uh, you don't do that, sometimes he'll vary his attacks. He'll charge at you. He'll go in the background um, and try and jump on top of you. That sort of thing. And thus. The end of Overdrive Ostrich. So uh, we actually get a decent weapon from him now. And it is the, if I remember correctly, it's the, it's like a mix between the, uh, it's like a boomerang thingy. Yeah. And it bounces off balls too. Sonic Slicer. It's a not, not a bad weapon. It's pretty good. Ooh, cutscene. Dramatic. Tension music. Dr. Kane. Looks like a Flintheart Glumgold from DuckTales. Took all of Zero... I thought they already had Zero's parts. Didn't they already have Zero's parts? Isn't that the whole point of having those, those dudes? I've got to save him. Goodbye. Well, good thing that part was there. Couldn't have lived without that. Whoa. We have a music change and a map change. Now we're up at uh, the North Pole, apparently. But we're going to run some errands first. First thing we're going to do, I think, is uh, where is Wheelgator? Why can't I find him? There he is. 
We're going to go to Wheel Gator and get the... Uh, now that we have the leg upgrade, we can go get the... Uh, uh, I think the uh, arm cannon upgrade is over here. Anyway, let's talk more. Uh, you know, two episodes ago, I was talking about cocaine. Last episode was marijuana. Um, I've also tried LSD. And, uh, yeah, I'm not very... Uh, not very fond of that stuff either. <laughs> um, here's why you need the leg upgrade for this part. I totally missed that. You need to get on this ledge over here, fall, and then dash over there like that. Can't do that without the leg upgrade. I, I think there actually is a way to reach it by doing some kind of magic jump or I don't know. I'm sure somebody out there can do it without the leg upgrade. Yay, in both arms at once. I love this. See, yeah, if you start with Overdrive Ostrich, then go Wire Sponge, and then go Wheel Gator, you can get these two things right away, and it makes the game really fun. I don't know why I didn't do that this time, but whatever. And the computer uh, helpfully demonstrates the power of the double thing. Pretty badass. Is there anything else in this stage I can get? I honestly don't know. Anyway, with uh, LSD, um, I was really, really young when I tried it. I didn't even know. I didn't even know what it was. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I think I was 14, um, and we were at uh, Valley Fair, which is in an amusement park in Minnesota. It's like Six Flags. It's like Six Flags without being called Six Flags, basically. Um, and when it was at night, I think it was like 7.30, it was in like September or something like that, so the, um, it was pretty dark. Decided to drop acid and go on a roller coaster. Um, I remember just being really, 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 really scared in line, because there was still a really long line. I think it was the day the park closed, actually, it closed for the summer. It was like after Labor Day, or maybe it was Labor Day, I don't remember. But, um, oh, this is what I need. I knew I was going for something. Okay, let's try and get this. Now that I have the uh, weapon upgrade, I can try and get this. Because that guy freaks out down there. you got to be on the very edge. The dippy top edge. And let's try and get it. I completely <laughs> fucked that up. That was terrible. <laughs> Whoops. Um, anyway, yeah, we decided it would be... Oh, I start right here. Sweet. We decided it would be a bright idea to, to drop acid and go on a roller coaster at night. And, um, I don't like roller coasters at all. Like, at all. I've never liked roller coasters. I don't know how I got convinced to do this, but, um... Let's see if I can do this here. Nope, didn't get high enough. Um, yeah, I just remember the feeling of going down that first thing the first uh, dip and I remember like you know that feeling you get in your stomach when you go down like that that feeling like you know how it just kind of goes away after you oh I almost got it that feeling just kind of goes away after you get off the roller coaster and walk around that feeling just didn't leave it just stayed with me and uh, should I go back and keep trying to get that I don't think so What else can I do? A crystal snail's got a bunch of stuff. I'll just go do that. Or Magnus Centipede. I don't know. Anyway, um, what I... Uh, yeah, we, we decided to um, just walk around the park the rest of the night. And I swear to God, I thought I died. Like, I thought I was dead. And, like, my soul was, like, trapped in my body. Because I couldn't not feel that, like, s falling feeling. Like, I thought I was... I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was so scared and so terrified. So after that, I never did LSD ever again. <laughs> the point of this Let's Play... I should just call this Let's Play Drugs Are Bad. That, you know what? I, I don't... If, if you want to do that stuff, I don't really give a shit. Like, if, if it works for you if, you, if you have pleasant experiences with that stuff, then by all means. As long as you're not, you know kicking your dog while you do it or beating beating somebody up or doing bad shit like that oh that was or, or, or doing shit like that like dropping into pits where I thought that's where the first heart piece was I guess not whoops I should really concentrate on the game instead of stories I guess 
But yeah, that was really, really bad. That was like, I'm dead. I've died. I think this is where I go. There we go. This is where I go. Now here, you go to the very edge. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance. Oh, come on. I should be able to get this one. At least this one's right at the beginning of the stage. I don't have far to go. But yeah, you just do, you get in the thing, you do a jump, and then it's almost like Mario and Yoshi, you jump where you jump off Yoshi and float the extra different, the extra distance in the cape. Same thing. We got jump and jump and not even close. <sighs> All right, we're going to call that an episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.